he like slapped the coffee out of my hand and went all down like my stomach. I just filmed a TikTok video for my let's go goals sweater and this is how I looked in it. So let's see how many jump scare comments I'm as expected, sadly. It has been a rough morning. I I don't know if I had I don't think I've had it on film, but every morning it is literally a battle with my cat Max, the orange one, with my Belvedas. He is so aggressive, like not mean to me, but like he, j if he sees the bag, he jumps on top of me and just will like smack me until he gets it out of my hands. So like we literally battle every morning because I've been having Belvedas the last like five months in the morning and it's been every day, an everyday thing. I need to probably just like, immediately get rid of the bag and just have the Belvedas on a plate. <laughs> like to me it's like that's wasting a plate, um, like getting a plate dirty for no reason. So yeah, he this morning like surprise attacked me and my coffee, he like slapped the coffee out of my hand and went all down like my stomach. I don't think, yeah it's not showing anymore but like for a while I had a nice like red gloop on my belly from how like Hot it was thankfully I am a creamer queen and we'll just like basically have a little coffee with my creamer so it was a little cold by the time like it spilt on me and then Asher almost in the same spot like because I'm on the couch um puked up his milk this morning so that cushion is gonna need washed that one right there <laughs> so now I am gonna get ready um well I had to actually put real clothes on almost immediately this morning but I'm gonna drop Asher off at my husband's um JV game with his parents so that I can go work out without having to worry about him uh crying in their the YMCA is like daycare center because mm, a lot of the time I end up having to like end my workout early because he just like cannot be away from me so Let's go do that. And then yesterday I didn't film it, but I got five sweatshirts embroidered. So that was a lot. I think my prints are going to come in today so I can start doing my uh, heat press on some of the sweaters. So I'm excited for that. And I do some Amazon orders. So like after I'm done working out, I'll probably show you um, some music montage of me building some stuff in that um, spare room, which is going to be my like office area. So i going to go do that. And I need to get off of here. <sighs> Goodbye. Just got back from attempting to go to the football game and uh, not, <laughs> wasn't allowed in because my husband, this has to, I'm assuming has to be his fault. I get free like family pass because my husband's the head coach and I, it's just how that works. Um, but for some reason this year, it, I don't have one, I'm not sure. <laughs> so it's not their fault. I'm just like obviously not on the list. So we're home. I did have to go inside and get Asher though. So I asked her, I'm like, well, I just need to like, can I just like go in and grab my baby? And she seemed very hesitant because I think she thought I was just gonna stay, but obviously I did not because like that's disrespectful. So I'm home earlier than expected. I did work out for like mm, half an hour to 45 minutes. There's always a bunch of teenagers like doing personal training in there and like they're unhinged in the gym and it's a really small gym, the one I went to today at least. And uh, so yeah, we were working with minimal spacing and equipment because I don't like getting in their way, especially because it's like a group personal training that this like guy does with high schoolers. And I don't wanna like disrupt their flow. So I just, casually go where they're not at that moment. And then when they start coming towards me, I move on to another machine. I think I got a decent workout in though. I even worked out in a while because I've had vertigo this week. So it was needed and the vertigo is still there. Um, but now we're just eating peanut butter sandwiches and I'm gonna put him down for a nap when he's done. And my Amazon stuff came in so we have, supposedly there is a metal frame clothing rack and a plastic frame 16 box divider storage unit in that box, which is gonna be a magic trick if that is the case. 
And Orange Kitty is attempting to get in it as we speak. He will not succeed. I'll see you soon when I go build that. janky plastic one it was just one of those like you just popped and it had those like like uh, buttony things that popped in no screws whatsoever this had screws and let me tell you the screw holes were not like not easy they were janky um the tools they gave for it like one of the i don't know the names of it one of the things that you're supposed to use like didn't even fit on it so um while i actually do highly recommend this because it's sturdy it's adorable it's pink the wheels are white which for us because we have a white floor is perfect because i couldn't get anything black wheels they leave uh scuff marks so i do recommend it's only 35 dollars, but it is a pain to put together but this will be really nice especially when i start doing like festivals and markets um popping in and out because i can just unscrew the bottom two holes take the frame off and then like slide it in my car so anyways i'm hungry so i'm gonna eat and then we have to go grocery shopping and then i'm gonna do some heat presses later Seems to 
hold me like you do mm -hmm. You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. Even the dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still mm, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I feel mm, so lucky I met you It's not magical The way I feel when you walk in the room It's not optional Welcome back. I've been pretty productive this morning. I didn't film anything. I finished off the rest of my bougie sweaters and I am officially out of the gold thread, which means I think I am done with the sweater totally now. So that's, I guess, good. It just makes me, now I need to start testing out more prints. So maybe today I might spend some time doing a couple um, prints on one of my Franken sweaters. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that's just like my mess ups that I now um, use to test out new designs on because I don't want to just like waste it. So they're slowly getting completely filled with designs, um, whether good or not. And I don't like, if you guys have suggestions what to do, because like obviously I can't do another, this is not enough thread really to do anything with. Like what should I do with, like I feel bad just throwing this away. What would I do with that? I don't know. Please leave that in the comments below. And then also I'm kind of thinking, so like on my last sweater, I actually had to switch my, it's in the wash right now because I wash all my embroidered items because um, when I'm doing the stabilizer on it, you have to use like um, tacky spray that washes off. So I put them through a lot of laundry. But um, so like on this part of the bougie, I ended up using the dark brown for this section and it looks really good but it's not the print that I'm selling so I'm kind of thinking and tell me what you think of if I do um like mystery sweater so that could be things like I do have a couple designs where I only did like a couple of them on that and they're perfectly fine it's not like they're um 
not good or like my misfits or anything. They're just different than what I actually am doing bulk of. So I maybe make it like a five to ten dollars cheaper than what you would get and then like have like fall mystery sweaters or fall mystery t-shirts, you know, something like that where I can label them um, and then send them out like depending on the size. I don't know. I don't know if mystery things would sell, but I feel like if it was maybe $10 cheaper than what you would get a normal one for, that might. Plus like they're really cute. I just don't want to do an individual listing for that individual item that's like similar you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyways, I am making iced coffee. I need to edit the last video. Is it this video? I don't know, but I know I need to edit. Um, and that takes forever. And I just did another order for um, more prints. And my mom is having me do an order for their bowling team too. So that will be coming in this upcoming week. I don't know what video that will be in. And I also need to tag start tagging and bagging products and get my shelf up. I don't know what all is gonna be in this video, but I have a lot to do. Um, and I think my launch day is officially gonna be September 1st. So that will be um, already happened. So if you wanna check out my stuff, I will probably link that below for you. I'm gonna to try to make an iced coffee though. I've made a couple of them. I wanna be an iced coffee girl. Um, I am a coffee girl with creamer, um, but I cannot figure out how to make it so that I like it. I think the trick maybe, because I got these skinny girl syrups, the like sugar-free ones, but I don't think the last two that I did that I absolutely hated, um, I think I put too much of it in and I also didn't put creamer in it. So I'm going to do that, put some of my creamer in because I'm a creamer girl um, and then a little bit of one of those, the cinnamon probably, and maybe I'll like it. So let's, uh, let's check this out. I'm such a baby when it comes to tasting some things that in the past have made me throw up. <laughs> okay, not a good start. Let me try a second one. Okay, this is the most edible one I have made thus far. It still has like a weird, I think it's this syrup. I don't think this is for me. I think I just need the regular sugar one because it just tastes a little fake. And you might be like, oh, Brittany, you have a zero sugar coffee creamer. This doesn't taste, this tastes wonderful to me. I love this stuff. It is so delicious. If you've not tried it, the Italian sweet cream, sugar-free, it's my vibe. Um, this is not so much. Maybe I should just fill the rest of that sweet cream in here. Mask some of that other taste. Yeah, it just, and maybe that's the coffee. Maybe it's just the coffee that I don't like iced coffee. I've never been an iced coffee girl. But in the summer, I also don't want to drink a ton of hot cups of coffee. So I should probably just stick to water. Anyways, I need to edit. So I'll see you soon. Also say hi to my new pimps over here. I mean, I have pimps everywhere, but like these ones are just like extra chaotic looking. two test ones. I did the first one. I did this Beverly Hills Athletics Club. Um, love it. I will definitely use this in the future. 
a different color probably. What I do with my test ones, I use like colors that I don't see myself using much of. So I wouldn't use yellow, so I wanted to use my yellow for the test, if that makes sense. And like this ghost, um, he's not supposed to be blue and white, so you, white with black border. Uh, he did not turn out well though. So you can see he is not lined up. I bought the both of these from the same embroiderist uh, on Etsy and you just like never know how it's gonna turn out because they don't have photos. Like I'm not even sure if this person stitched this out themselves because there weren't any photos of the, uh, an actual product with it stitched on. It was like a, you could tell it was, what is the word? Like a transparent background, like a image from online put on a shirt. So this unfortunately did not work. I really wanted that to be a cute little pocket uh, sweater type design. That would have been adorable, but I cannot use that sadly. That's gonna wrap up today. I am going to just clean everything up and maybe go on a walk. I need to get some vitamin D. I'm increasingly growing paler as we speak. This little bug isn't feeling the best though, so he probably won't stay up too long, but he loves going on walks and I feel like the sun will be helpful for him too. <coughs> No, I am currently drowning myself in water and lots of zinc and, uh, well, in coffee at this very moment, but um, I'm hoping that I don't get full-blown sick. I'm just feeling a little under the weather. I also just brought my Velveetas in, so that's why we have this kitty behind me, but guess what? I'm not playing his games anymore. I'm using a paper towel today, so I have grown and we adapt to each other, sir. Uh, anyways, I have a million product photos to take today. That's the goal, is just take all my photos to get ready for lunch day, which is tomorrow, and I'm so excited. And also just feeling a little overwhelmed. So I'm going to finish my coffee, watch a little more YouTube while I'm doing it, and then get into pics and editing those. <sighs> Wish me luck. Just like an update, Orange Kitty just came up and grabbed the paper towel off my lap and left with it. And then he left it shortly after uh, in the middle of the floor because it didn't crinkle and he was upset. So that was a semi-fail, but maybe he had just gotten the picture that I am no longer playing games. He still is though. <laughs> I also, when I woke up this morning, because my husband hadn't left for work yet, um, he looked at my face and just like, oh, I'm so sorry, mama. I'm like, what? And then I realized like what he was looking at. Um, my pimples, so. They're doing good, they're thriving. They're scabbing over a little bit. I did mess with them, so. In a few more days, they'll probably be gone. And now I need to finish my coffee and get to working. I just filmed a TikTok video for my let's go goals sweater and this is how i looked in it so let's see how many jump scare comments i'm gonna get um or no comments because you know tiktok i get mainly like maybe 200 views <laughs> on tiktok so we'll see honestly if even just one viewer sees that video and is inspired to purchase that sweater i call that a win a, a win is a win. Um, I need to wipe this off. My skin actually did need this mask. This is the first day beauty I got in like an Ipsy months ago. Um, it's really hard to talk because like it's really stiff. It's been on for at least like 20 minutes now. I did have a nice little setup. I was doing like the let's go ghouls. So let, let's go girls, Shania Twain um, videos. I had my chocolates, my boom chicka pop popcorn my little ghost wine glass that I'm obsessed with. I even had a little phone prop. I honestly think the more props I can bring into something, I mean, I haven't tested this theory, but maybe it'll perform better, um, keep viewers. I honestly feel like 
my face might have people turn off the video. So we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I need to get on. I took a ton of product photos of them. I just used my table as a backdrop. I was gonna use the floor because it's white. Um, and that's why like, I thoroughly cleaned it. But um, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna upload these on the table and see how I like them and see if I wanna like re shoot anything but i have product videos made of everything except i think i might want to redo my muscle mummy one and go to the gym tonight and somehow slyly take video of myself i just like get so embarrassed especially at the gym filming myself i've done it before obviously you've seen tiktoks probably and youtube shorts of it um but that's like usually no one's there sometimes they are but like i'll try to hide my camera um yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm awkward and embarrassed, but like no one probably cares. <sighs> All right, I need to wipe this on my face and get lunch because baby is sleeping, which is why I did the videos because I needed him to be asleep. Um, and then I need to get as much work done as possible before he wakes up and he's been taking really short naps. So even me talking right now is probably uh, detrimental to me. So I'll see you soon. Quick update, I have spent the entire day editing and taking photos and putting up everything in the TikTok seller app and I am just so out now. Like I don't wanna touch TikTok. I haven't even done my like daily post on either of my TikToks, which is frustrating because I feel like I've been at this for so long and I just wanna be done for today. Um, I don't know at this point, like if I'm even gonna go to the gym, probably not, I'm so tired. I feel like I'm getting sick. I hope I'm not. <laughs> I just got a P.O. box uh, set up, so I need to just go to the gym. I need, just in case I get full on like sick, I need to go to the gym so that I at least did something this week. I didn't film any of me like editing because it was just like a lot and I had my uh, memory card in my computer so I couldn't anyway, so. I think actually everything's live, but it's not actually going to, like, I'm not gonna post anything about it until tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I will for sure update you and do a bunch of like check-ins tomorrow. So I will see you then. <laughs> it's officially lunch day. I am not doing my best, but I think what the plan is I have everything set up and active on my TikTok shop. I'm just slowly throughout the day going to start releasing my like shoppable uh product tiktoks and see how it goes now i have not done my like actual website yet so this is not going to be like a website launch it's just tiktok shop launch um so we'll see how it turns oh, out i've watched on youtube i'm watching youtube right now um <laughs> i've watched launch days be successful but i've seen them also be a complete uh, like no borders. I don't want to call it a fail because like if you launch it's not a fail. Um, so I am prepped for no orders and that will be fine. Even if I just get one order today I will consider that a successful launch. Um, but if I don't get one like I'm just gonna keep at it. I'm gonna keep like pushing out content and then stuff on. I'm getting my website started because I have the domain I just don't have a website yet so I need to look at different pricing options so we're gonna do that i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog i'll vlog more it's just um, i'm having a really hard time talking if you can't tell so i will see you like i said a little bit don't judge me i'm still in my pjs i did wash my face and brush my teeth it is like 4 30 now though <laughs> uh, probably close to five i will be taking a shower soon and changing uh we have <coughs> four of the six videos uploaded now on tiktok and maybe be, maybe be, um, maybe have like a combined rate of six likes on all four videos. Um, one video has zero likes, so we're not doing great. I am, but I didn't want to like leave this part out either because I feel like a lot of launch videos. I like I said it earlier. You see these people being like, "I sold out my first lunch." Uh, that's not happening. We have two more videos, and by we, I mean me. I have two more videos to upload. It's just, um, I guess I'm gonna wait a little bit later because it's kind of sad right now. Like keep pumping them out and like 
nothing. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, I haven't done anything. I was gonna unbox some things that I got. So I have a few more shirts I still need to press. Not that it matters, I don't need to like ship them out right now, but um, I do want to put my <coughs> organizer together. That'll probably just wait, like my uh, shelving unit, probably wait till tomorrow. B, my baby Asher, I call him B, is uh, not feeling good. So it's been a struggle for both of us today. Uh, I'll update you tonight though and let you just know the final like what's going on obviously i have zero orders right now <sighs> apologies uh the lighting's gonna be awful in here and that's because i wanted to get away from people when doing this one uh and by people i mean my kitty's husband and baby so we ended the day as expected sadly we had zero sales um, I was watching The Handmade Mother, I think that's what her YouTube channel is called. Um, this was like weeks ago, and she did a vlog on her grand like launch and also made zero sales. So I think I said it earlier, I wasn't going into this thinking that I was going to um, blow it out of the park, where you see a lot of vlogs, like people vlogging that, and like their emotions crying and so excited. Uh, that was not like... It was not where my <laughs> headspace was at. I was hoping for one sale just to like prove that this will work. And I don't need to do that. Like the thing is, I really like what I have and what I have like online for everyone. And I think that's honestly what matters. And as long as like I keep my motivation up, that's what's gonna keep me going. I just need to keep putting work into it, less money into it. Um, at this point, just like keep uploading, keep uh, creating content, marketing myself. Um, depending how the next couple weeks go, I will probably have to do some markets and like festivals just to get some revenue. I just don't know what, where to look for uh, the best options and like the least expensive to get into it because like I've never done one on like my mom like used to do them all the time but like I've never done one I've never done it with like this like the products I have I don't know how that's gonna go I'm gonna keep I have things I want to work on like I want to start making scrunchies so maybe I'll just devote some time daily to just learning new skills and then that will in itself make this better so I don't know basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not like, this isn't the last you're gonna see of me. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep vlogging. I'm gonna keep just trying to make this work because I do believe that it will work. It's just this was not my starting point. I have a little further to go. <laughs> I think overall <laughs> I, I put up six items, like um, six products. I obviously have more of like each of those products but um, I did videos for all six of them I did a video of like wrapping up all of them I think that my mind because I kept saying like oh TikTok is blowing up like TikTok shop so that's why I'm going into this being like well I'm just gonna start with a TikTok shop maybe that was the wrong idea but like I've looked into websites it's a little it's a little expensive to start that so that's why I didn't start there and that's where I'm going to veer towards I just need to figure out financial wise for that um but anyways what I was saying is I did all those videos it is embarrassing um, I posted on my main accounts too I posted on my YouTube uh I think a combined like rate of maybe like 10 likes total on all seven videos across the different platforms like that's a little cringy uh I'm <laughs> admitting it a lot of the likes came from my old office aides when I was a counselor, and um, they're sweet. The girls are sweet for doing that, but I knew most of the people that liked the stuff, so whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to give you my like raw feelings right now. I'm disappointed, like I'm bummed, but I'm not like devastated <laughs> because. I had prepped my 
uh, heart and brain already for um, this probably isn't going to go well the first time around. As always, I love you and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Okay, bye.